Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shen Shumizu! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12? Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! already have the first two Shensha Amazing episodes on our topic, the circulatory system. We are done with the blood, the blood vessels, and in today's Shensha Amazing episode, of your chest, behind and slightly to the left of your breastbone. It is a major organ of the circulatory system that pumps blood to all parts of the body to provide oxygen and nutrients needed to properly function. It is about the size of your fist. Merong apat na chambers ang heart. Dalawang atria, which are the right atrium and left atrium, at dalawang ventricle, which are the right ventricle and left ventricle. The atria are chambers found on the upper side of the heart. Once again, meron tayong dalawang atria, the right atrium and left atrium. Their walls are thin and they are responsible for collecting blood from the body. After collecting the blood, they force down o tinutulak nila ang blood papunta sa ventricles. What are the ventricles? Ventricles are the lower chambers. And they have muscular and thick walls because they force blood out of the heart. We have two ventricles in our heart. The right ventricle forces blood from the heart to the lungs o papunta sa lungs. While the left ventricle forces blood from the heart through the blood vessels o papunta sa blood vessels. How do these four chambers work together? Let's take a look at the simple process of blood flow in the heart. The blood that enters the right atrium is oxygen-poor in nature. This oxygen-poor blood goes to the right atrium, then to the right ventricle. In the right ventricle, the oxygen-poor blood is forced out to the lungs. And in the lungs, this oxygen-poor blood becomes enriched in oxygen, making it an oxygen-rich blood. Once the blood is rich in oxygen, it is now ready to go back inside the heart. It goes through the left atrium, then passes through the left ventricle, and is forced out through the aorta, which then flows to the blood vessels in our body, providing the necessary oxygen to our cells. Here's an animation on how the heart pumps blood. Maliban sa four chambers, meron ding valves ang ating heart. In our heart, we have four main valves. The tricuspid, pulmonary, mitral, and aortic valve. Ano ang ginagawa ng apat na valve na ito? These valves help move blood in one direction. They prevent the backward flow of blood. Let's have another trivia! Place your palm on top of your chest. Have you ever wondered why the heart goes lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub? As we know, merong dalawang sound. We have lub and dub. Punta mo na tayo sa lub. The lub is the first heart sound. Tinatawag din itong S1. It is caused by the closure o ang pagsara ng mitral at tricuspid valves. Then the second sound, dub, is caused by the closure o pagsara naman ng aortic and pulmonary valves. 
because of the continuous action of the valves during circulation, our heart continuously produces the sound lub dub. Before we have a short quiz, magkaroon muna tayo ng quick recap ng ating discussion in this Shensha Amazing episode. This video is the third part of our discussion about the circulatory system at nag-focus tayo tungkol sa heart. Specifically, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa heart, its description and its function, about the chambers of the heart like the atria and ventricles. Aside from that, we also talked about the valves which prevent the backflow of blood. And lastly, we learned something new about the mystery of the lub dub. It's good time! To check how much you have learned, we are going to have a short quiz. You can answer this quiz within 3 minutes or less, and after 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct. Let's start! Let's check kung tama mga sagot nyo. Number 1. A muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the body. Very easy. If your answer is heart, you are correct. Number 2. These are responsible for collecting blood from the body. What do you think is the answer? The answer is atria. We have two, the right and left atrium. Number 3. A valve that lets blood flow from one chamber of the heart, the left atrium, to another called the left ventricle. The item is quite long, pero ang tinatanong dito, 
ay kung ano lang ang tawag sa valve between sa left atrium at sa left ventricle. If you can remember our picture, the valve located between them is the mitral valve. Number four, the first heart sound. Ano ulit ang sound ng ating heart? Lub-dub, due to the closing o pagsara ng ating mga valves. And the first sound is lub. Last item, these force blood out of the heart. From the choices, alam natin na hindi valves because valves only prevent the backflow of the heart. Dub is the second heart sound. And since tricuspid is also a valve, it is not the answer. Thus, our answer here is ventricles. What's your score over 5? Please comment it down so that we can check them out. I hope you learned something. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!